that a few streamers from other streaming sites like Livestream haven't come over is because the chat here is so bad. They've really got to get their heads out of their asses. I mean, it's been this way for months. I mean, do they just not have anyone competent at doing chat servers? Do they just think it's not important enough to use time and resources on? I, I really am at a loss. I mean, chat is very important. I mean, that's how else... People watch streamers because, not just because they're interesting or they're playing a game that they like or they're good at the games or whatever, or just because of the commentary, but they do it because, you know, some of the back and forth between the people in the channel and the person streaming or the ability to talk to whoever's streaming, even if they're not doing it, the other people talking back and forth gives you material to work with. And it's just stupid that it's not working. Get that. Get buffed up. Should buy more stems. Just for the hell of it. I wish you could make her use stems. All going down. If you can, I wish I knew how to do it. Come on. Shoot him. It's okay. Need to keep remembering to use my great grenades more often. Oh, oops, let's go ahead. Heal up. Kill this guy. Oh, we have a bonus to kill 20 eagles. Terrorists. But yeah, right now I have about five folks in chat, which is probably a little better than I normally do. And I'd like to be able to have a little back and forth with them, because quite fr and also quite frankly, uh, when you have people talking in chat, that gives you things to talk about, and otherwise you might not have anything to talk about. Also, the thing is, it makes it worse, is I don't know if you guys can just see yourselves type. Because sometimes it looks like you're talking, but you actually... Like, you see yourself talking, but nobody else does. I've seen that happen. But then sometimes you type and nothing goes through. Like, for example, the last thing I've seen is something is messed up with the chat. Don't get all the stuff I write. That A wrote. That's it. And that was a while back. What are you looking at? Oh god. I love how they just blow up and they're bouncing all over the place. That's so delicious. Oh, I think hers is messaging me. Nope. Just a woman telling me she bought me some shirts at a thrift store. Which is cool. I like cool new shirts. I 
most assuredly do. Second. She knows I'm not ignoring her. I'm like a big jerk face. Come on out. I'll show you my gun. I love, I love how Interrogation Pro re, uh, renews, or uh, resets the recast, what the hell? Resets the recast uh, when something dies, that's awesome. A security console. Pay attention to the mini map. Genius. Maybe I should talk about my rotation again some more. I keep forgetting to bring it up because I know not everyone watches all the videos. So I guess I'll do that. For these guys, it's pretty simple. I usually start the ambush, about halfway through I'll send her, throw an interrogation probe, and then just start uh, sniping. Uh, throw bombs when I, you know, remember to, and then as soon as he's below 30%, I use this takedown ability, uh, which does about 900, or around 950 damage, but the, you can only use it when they're below 30%. So yeah, ambush looks like I sent her. I also send her way too often. When uh, explosive probes is up, I send that. So I use explosive probe first, and then I use interrogation probe. Because I want to get interrogation probe on as soon as possible, because it actually does pretty damn good damage. Also, interrogation probe will trigger, at least as far as I can tell, will trigger the explosions from the explosive probe. So that's another nice thing about it. Uh, explosive probe, or interrogation probe. All around, that's just a nice ability. And then when this, when uh, Imp discharges up, I'll just go ahead and use uh, the adrenal, adrenal probe. One more down. And then immediately use the Imp, because that immediately resets my uh, immediately sets the adrenal probe cooldown. I really, one thing I really need to start doing is using the bombs more often. Because bombs do pretty good damage. Uh, it's 485 to 541 damage. Uh, recast of 6 seconds. Uh, 20 energy. So they're pretty damn nice. Even for single targets. There's no cast time. Confront the eagle. Oh, I will. Sup, the eagle. You about to get the screwed. The owned. 
Sir, we're cut off. Thurston and Gerald tried to get out, but the Imperials are all over the swamps. They would be. Damnation. I promised Gerald she'd die with the detonator in one hand and a glass of brandy in the other. Seems she's made a liar of me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. You were everything I could have hoped for. Now carve us a path out. I'll follow soon. My glowing red eyes is not really all that stealthy. All right, I see you. The least I could do was send the boy off with hope. But have you seen the strength of the revolution? Cells on Nar Shaddaa, Tholet and Molivar, Alderaan, Balmora. It's an inspiration, no matter how it ends. Your inspiration is terrorism. Plain and simple. Nothing is plain or simple about terrorism, about rebellion, or about covert intelligence. That's your field, I presume. You don't look military. Tell me something. How much of my story has the Empire uncovered? What have your methods found? We found out all about your little orbital weapons, your eradicators. <laughs> look behind me. That, that is an eradicator. Technology developed on Dromund Cass and Balmora. They can be grown anywhere. Six dozen are already in place. They'll wait to receive orders, at first. But eventually, without commands, they'll run rampant. Fire blindly at cities from orbit. Why would they do that? Consider it a safeguard. Uncontrolled, the eradicators won't hit our targets, but chaos and death still send a message. Now we're done. May whoever survives see a glorious future for the Empire. I wonder who that'll be. Take uh. this, Edley. I hate abilities. Oh, you can't take cover. Her, her, her. Oh, On you, I see. That's yes, right. Gonna snipe right in your kneecap there. Reading here. Ah, lightning! Probably should have healed her up a little bit. Damnation! Even surrounded, even seeing you, I didn't think it would happen like this. As I said, it, it makes no difference. The Eradicators will run rampant, the Empire will burn, and you have been betrayed. Who's betrayed me? My patron. The one who showed me how to unite the cells, proposed the Eradicators, is one of your own people. A traitor in your Empire has been helping us all along. Your civilization is so corrupt that it's destroying itself. Why reveal this now? What are you trying to do? Think of it as one last seed of discord, sown before Eradication Day. Goodbye now. Watch me burn. Detonator, get back! <laughs> Area is clear. Sir, are you alright? Cypher 9, it's Watcher 3. Are you hurt? That was a nasty explosion. Sorry, Watcher 3? We met on Draman Kass, sir, when you were posted there. Keeper sent me to assist with information retrieval, slicing the Eagle's computers. I'll also check out that device there. I think it's an eradicator. Is that going to be dangerous? Shouldn't be. The eradicators are designed for orbital attacks. Guess we'll find out. Can I wield it? That's your next upgrade, the Eradicator. Cypher, I've got some preliminary findings. It's not good news. I overheard what the Eagle said. Looks like he was telling the truth. If no one gives the Eradicators new orders, they'll go mad. Fire randomly. Any idea how to disable them? Here's the good part. I figured out their control mechanism. 
transmit the proper codes, and you can set the device's targets, disable them, anything. The Eagle stored half the control codes on his computers. Someone else must have the second half. Eagle mentioned a patron. Yes, sir. The one inside the Empire. Not sure what that means. You should head to Drummond Kars. I don't think there's anything more you can do here, and Keeper wants you back at headquarters. <laughs> the lightning's going off the whole time. <laughs> that's pretty... I kept hearing it, I'm like, what's that noise? It's like, oh wait, that's my ultimate power lightning. Oh, this is back too. Boom! Terrorists. Scum. I left no one alive. Come on. How did they how, Who did they capture? I murdered everyone. <laughs> it blew up before my bullet got there. Nice. You're destroying my immersion again. How can I live inside the Star Wars world if things aren't 100% accurate? Going the right way? Yes, I am. Why do I keep getting the heal message? I mean, I'm at full health, so I don't really know what's healing. I guess I could just teleport. I mean... <clears throat> Transport back. Not teleport. There's no teleporting in Star Wars! We're taking a Star Trek. That stupid knockoff of Star Wars. We are not responsible for missed departures. There are others waiting. Move along. One, one, that's fine. Buzz these guys. Hey, remember me, a holes? I don't think that's the proper way to store your sniper rifle while riding a speeder. Please properly stow your sniper rifle while flying to Jabba's palace. Actually, I guess that was the only transport over. So it worked out. Nimrod the Hut. Well, if it is a Lone Star and his sidekick, Puke. That's Boff. Boff, Puke, whatever. Where's my money? Ah, uh, your ship. Oh, you can go straight to your ship from here. Nice. Nice. Of course, I wish I could go straight from my ship to the freaking ground, but hey. Baby steps, I guess. Oh, hi, Ro. Oh, speak to Keepa. Oh, speak to Vector. Agent, we're finalizing our exit report for the diplomatic service. 34 pages of seating charts, ambassador profiles, and appendices. We'll transmit it to our superiors, and then we're yours full time. Any second thoughts about leaving diplomacy for intelligence? We'll miss it. And we're sorry to hand over the unfinished work, but they'll do fine without me. You know, we used to advise first contact missions to new star systems. We met some unusual people, but we haven't had many new experiences since joining the Kilix. Time to broaden our horizons. You said before... The Killix approved of your departure. Yes. We will return someday with more to offer the nest than ever. In the meantime, we'll follow your lead. Sorry to eat and drink in your face there. But I know how much the mute is bad. So it's like, Dan, if I do, Dan, if I don't. Sup, Cleo? Don't push it. Oh, now, come on. Oh, I need to go to Dromacos. Hmm. 
right? Yes. I wanted to make sure before I actually went. That would have not been bueno. Wait. It's been a while. Get off my back. You can escape out of that, but you can't escape out of taking the ship from the ground to space. I don't know. Very weird. Wow, this pepper is jalapeno is hot. Go figure, I know. <laughs> oh, Twitter. Recorded the girl beside me on the flight eating her Chex Mix. I then played it full volume on my iPhone. She put the bag away. <laughs> People are so, like, oblivious to things that they do. Myself included. I'm not gonna exclude myself from from that. I tried to be uh, attentive to things like that, but like people who chew with their mouths open. Oh, God. I'm like, why does it granted, it's kind of hypocritical, hypocritical to say this, but why doesn't somebody tell them like a wife or girlfriend or Something who's actually close to them, not like somebody you just barely know, to say, hey, for God's sakes, close your damn mouth when you're chewing your food. What the hell's wrong with you? Obviously, it's an unconscious thing. Enjoy your stay. And again, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible while I'm chewing on this pepper and drinking, but with a mic right by my face. I haven't eaten since breakfast, which I'm actually not that hungry. Now, oddly enough, well, of course, then I just burp in your face. What's up with that? Twice. Three times. But. Wow, my lips on fire. I think maybe chewing on this jalapeno has made me not that hungry. The heat keeps the uh, hunger away. I was trying to set a. Saw our old pal Kim Vall there for a second. I don't quite get this either. Why don't they connect these two? These two um, taxi points. That's one reason I hate coming back to Drama Costco. Because you take that one. Then you have to run or taxi or you know ride over to this one. Then you taxi over here. Then you taxi back. Then you run from That's here to the, the other one. It's like ah, oh, forgot. Enjoy your stay. Mm. Oh god, lips stop burning, please. Yeah, we'll have to switch the milk. Milk. Another white drink. Wait, uh, what? I almost did it again. I almost ran in the middle.
Wow, I'm actually pretty far into this level, too. I must have got a lot of XP from the class quests. By the way, who wants to bet it's the Keeper who's the, uh... It's either the Keeper or Watcher 2 that's the traitor. Or it's Darth What's-His-Face, like he faked his own death or something. Cypher 9, come inside. This should be a triumphant moment. It's a tremendous achievement bringing down the Eagle. The crisis has only escalated. The Eradicators could begin firing at any moment. What's our current status? Watcher 2, your report. The Moths have placed local forces on alert, and a search for the Eradicators is underway. Unfortunately, trends suggest we can only find one device every five hours. It'll be weeks before we destroy them all. Disappointing, but not a surprise. Damage projections? Estimates are 10 to 50 million deaths on each planet targeted. 40% military, 60% civilian. I assume you have a plan. In order to deactivate the eradicators en masse, we need the control codes. Half the codes won the Eagle's computers. We can only surmise that the other half are with the Eagle's patron. Yes, the patron. A man whom the Eagle claims is inside the Empire. Any idea who it could be? I have my doubt that this patron is really a highly placed Imperial. It seems unlikely such a person could escape our scrutiny. Nonetheless, we can't ignore the possibility of a traitor. That's why we're meeting privately. Only the people in this room know the full situation. You sent Watcher 3 to Hutter. He knows too. An oversight. Watcher 3 has been instructed not to speak to anyone. Finish the report, Watcher 2. Hmm. The Eagle had been sending periodic transmissions to someone in the Artis system. Artis is uninhabited, devoid of resources and off the major hyperlanes. Our patron could certainly hide there. I want you to lead a mission to Artis. You're to find the Eagle's patron and obtain his half of the control codes. Watcher 2 will rendezvous with you there. She knows more about the Eradicators than anyone. Are you alright with this? I'll do what's necessary. Your ships will be outfitted with cloaking devices. They'll only last one jump, but they'll get you into Artis unnoticed. After that, infiltrate whatever base the patron is using. Recover the eradicator control codes and stop the threat. Watcher 2, you're dismissed. Uh -oh. If you want to talk before the mission, I'll be at my station. Hmm. Is this there is one more thing. Darth Sword had heard you were returning to Drummond Kass. She wants to speak to you. We're getting pretty close, Jorid and me. I'm sure you are. When you're through, head to the artist system. This is our only chance, Cypher. Fail, and we all pay a grievous cost. Could be her, too. I had totally forgot about her. We'll go ahead and grab this defense. I don't think she has... Oh, yeah, she does. Sure, she does. Uh, hmm, hmm. Other. Wow, 21 endurance, nice. Not too shabby. Hey, let's see who's about to try to talk to him again. Time is running out. You need to get to the artist system. Yeah, yeah. Right. Stop the eradicators. Wow, she's only got a thousand K more hit points than I do. Is this where she suspects the keeper? Cipher, I'm glad you stopped by. I've been going over the mission parameters, studying the eradicator control codes, scans of the artist system. We're Shaking facing a mystery, head. and I hate mysteries. You may hate mysteries, but you're pretty good at solving them. I am. I don't mind having that recognized, call it vanity, but I like knowing my creation served a purpose. What about you? What's been going through your head since this countdown to Eradication Day started? Honestly? 
I've been thinking about you. <laughs> I've been thinking of you as well. At least when my brain has cycles to spare. Well, what? You're as good a partner as I could hope for, as I've ever had. We've made quite a team. Ever wish we could be more than a team? <laughs> I appreciate the interest, Cypher, but I don't think it's appropriate. I'm aware That's of your relationship with the alien. I don't plan to interfere with that. Oh, wait, what? Relationship with the alien. Is he talking about Cleo? We don't really have a relationship. We haven't got to that point. It's not Cleo I'm interested in. Oh. Oh, God, no. It's you. Ouch. It doesn't matter. Just drop it, all right? <laughs> you just can't trade up, can you, Agent? In any case, you should get ready. Oh, whoops. The Eradicators won't wait for either of us. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Negative 160. <laughs> I realize I could cancel out of that, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I really want to or not. What was the other choice? But it'll be fun. That was the other choice. Um, nah, I'll take it. No time for chat, then. Even less than usual. Once you take off for the Arta system, I'll be on your tail. We'll meet out there. <laughs> wow, she she did not like that at all. Oh, come on, baby. I was just messing around. I was just joking. I was just trying to, you know, get in her, you know, confide in me because she's probably a traitor. You know I still love you and your crazy face piercings and your way with a gun. You're very good with a gun and I'm kind of scared shitless of you and come on, baby, don't be like this. In fact, why don't you run in front of me from this point on? I don't really like you running behind me with a blaster. Doesn't seem like a wise idea. Darth Zurid. Oh yeah, she's over here. <laughs> I think that's think the biggest neck you know I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not interested in. <laughs> I'm not interested in Kaleo. She's like, I'm right here, asshole. Even though when it, it tried to that customer last to week, I knew it. You know, Nobody tried to buys that the much Russian paste unless they're it, up to like, something. And who sold them all that Russian paste? Huh? <laughs> Same person who hid a tracer in the box. Just in case. Yep. I'm gonna I'll have take to it get back. her a lot of presents. When they call us in, she's gonna get that hiring. That was close. You're the freak 